just BuzzFeed man cracked. Why are all these channels tormenting me with the idiocy? Now, in general, I don't have a problem with the Cracked YouTube channel, but this video is just so stupid. So let's just jump right into it! As I said, my first instinct was, cool concept! How romantic! Look at this romantic moment captured on film! Except, it is always this stunning model leading her photographer boyfriend by the hand, back turned to the camera. And then many of the photos prominently focusing on her naked back and butt. If I was her, part of me might start to feel a little objectified. Like, hey honey, is there something on my face? In addition to the fact that she is leading him to exciting, adventurous locations, she gives a manic pixie dream girl character a run for her money. It's like saying women are just there to lead you to adventure, while at the same time being vapid and looking perfect at all times. That's a little icky, right? Why not show her enjoyment, her reaction, her even looking over her shoulder? I don't know, but it sure makes me feel ish. Okay. So while I agree that in general women are objectified, especially in the media and in advertising, but on this Instagram I don't really see it. I agree that there are a few pictures with her butt and naked back. So first point, what's such a big deal about a naked back? It's a back. Unless someone has a specific back fetish, I very much doubt anyone is going to look at her back and get turned on or anything. Second point, yes, there are several pictures of her in a bikini showing off her butt, but there are many more not showing off her butt, so yeah. Third and last point for this part, as this video states later on, most, if not all of these pictures are staged. Side note, I don't see anything wrong with it being staged. Here's some other photography pictures that were staged but are amazing. So, if they are staged, I'm pretty sure that she's doing this on her own free will, so I doubt that she's feeling objectified, but neither me nor anyone else besides the girl herself can confirm or deny that. Again, my first reaction was, beautiful clothes, look at all these cool outfits. Well, aside from the outfits mainly showing off her assets, and like being all about that shopping life, hashtag shopping life, a lot of the outfits are kind of cultural appropriation, right? Show a bunch of photos of her wearing clothes from the place that she's traveling, ish. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you don't like it when women wear anything showing any skin. But I'll cover that in a different video. So, on to the main point, cultural appropriation. Two words that I absolutely hate when they're put together, because it kind of doesn't exist. Yes, there are people out there who are stupid, who have no idea about other countries. An example of this would be weeaboos, and when I say that, I mean actual weeaboos. Not just people who enjoy anime, I mean the weeaboos that think everyone in Japan wears kimonos, and every girl in Japan cosplays, and everyone watches anime. There are ignorant idiots, yes, and some people will find that offensive. Maybe in that case you could call it cultural appropriation. That's fine. But just dressing in the clothes or partaking in a different culture that isn't your own is no problem. If it was, then we probably should all stop eating curry in Chinese, cause you know, it's ish. Sure, the clothes are cute and I get it. When traveling, one does want to fit in. However, this is just two rich white people who are like, ooh, dress up like we're from here. That's so neat, so cute. Ish. Ish, ish. Ish. I'll tell you what's fucking ish. This fucking video. I get it. People airbrush all over Instagram. I mean, there has been drama about it with Beyonce and Kim Kardashian, but look at this. Look at it. This is so airbrushed and smooth, people asked if it was a painting. Because everything looks like it's coated in honey and reflected with perfect three-point lighting that God designed. Yes, it's lovely, but also it's unrealistic expectations for people who go on Instagram being like, I could do that, travel the world, become a model whose face people don't need to see. Nothing can ever look like that without massive airbrushing and it's not showing the world's beauty. Everything is staged. They even show you exactly how staged it is in the videos, and it's not endearing, it's frustrating. The world is already beautiful. It's just gilding the lily. It's showing a fake, airbrushed, very staged world. Ish. Going back to the staged photos and the editing. Here's some more photos that are either staged or edited. Here's a famous picture that is obviously not how the world is. Here's another. Do you get the idea? There's lots of paintings and photos that are edited in a way to make the world look better, or sometimes even worse. I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, seriously, what is so bad about editing the world like this? I don't understand it. This Instagram account is basically like a photography project, and that's what photography projects do sometimes. 